Hello there. So, uh, what's your name? Kevin Danaher with Global Exchange and Green Festivals. Hey, Kevin. So, uh, what you brought go, you down here today? Well, uh, we did our first Los Angeles Green Festival this weekend, October 29th, 30th, here at the LA Convention Center. And we want we wanted to we wanted to make sure that we hooked up with Occupy LA, so we gave a free booth at the event to Occupy LA. We had tens of thousands of people come into the event. Occupy LA got to expose the message and tell people to come on down. So I was invited to come down and speak, and that's why I'm here. I just gave a little talk, and it's really cool to see what's going on here. So um, what, would you, what would you say to the people that hey, are going to be watching this video here there. when we post this thing pretty quickly? What would you say to them problem. about this movement and how that. they could actually help out? Well, I think what we're at, we're at a point in human history where the system is collapsing. The global capitalist corporate economy is crashing. Every environmental system is collapsing. So people are realizing the economy doesn't work for the majority. The economy doesn't work for nature either. So we need to create a new system. We've had a critique of the existing system for a long time. Now we need to create a different system. And what we're saying is instead of having money values rule over the life cycle, we have to have life values rule over the money yeah. cycle. Yeah. And if you look at the economy, the growth rates are in things like green building technology, energy efficiency, solar energy, wind energy, organic agriculture, recycling, composting urban agriculture. So it's those sectors that are going to create sustainability. We're now 7 billion people on this planet and the majority of us live in cities so we got to solve the sustainability issue in the cities and that's what's good about Occupy LA, San Francisco, Wall Street, Oakland, etc. We're figuring out how to create a new society from the bottom up. So do you think that the Occupy movement as it exists now is drawing enough attention to these environmental issues, which as far as I'm concerned, uh, almost outweigh all these other issues, because if we create a planet that is unlivable, then these other issues almost are irrelevant. Yeah, we need to think like ancestors. You know, What are future generations going to think about us if we hand them a burnt cinder of a planet with the oceans all fouled and no fish left and the topsoil gone? So we need to be thinking about seven generations down the road what are we going to leave as, as their ancestors? Are they going to look back on us and say, damn you, you screwed up the planet? Or are they going to say, wow, you know, right around the year 2000, people started to wake up and develop a different kind of economic system that takes everything we use and either goes back into the industrial process as raw material when we're done with it, or it goes back into the soil as compost when we're done with it. And those systems are being developed it's just they're kind of scattered, they're all over the place. What we do at the Green Festival is we bring them all together. We bring hundreds of green companies together so people get their sense of we're a movement because individual organizations are like an individual mosquito, easy to suppress. The mosquitoes come together into a swarm. You know, you can break one pencil, you put 10 pencils together, you can't break them. So it's about building unity. And we talk about biomimicry. Yes. Nature's core principle yes. is unity of diversity, and that's what we're creating in this movement, is unity of diversity. Yep. How many people showed up there yesterday at the convention center? Uh, we don't have an exact number for another day or so. We count it all up. I would estimate somewhere between twenty-five and 30,000. It was a really good turnout. So you, you considered it a very successful We were very happy. First show yep. in most cities, you're lucky if you get fifteen or 20,000. We definitely had more than that. And it, it puts to rest this notion that L.A. doesn't have a green economy movement. It does. It's just the pieces of it are kind of scattered around. When you have a platform where they can all come together, then people start realizing, hey, we are a movement. And what was your full name again? Kevin Danaher, D-A-N-A-H-E-R, Global and Exchange. You, and, okay, Global Exchange. And, but you're also one of the founders of the Green Festival. Green Festival. Ten years ago in San Francisco, we're now in New York, L.A., Seattle, Chicago, San Francisco, and hopefully spreading to more cities. All right, well, fantastic. Thank you very much for coming down. We really appreciate it. My pleasure. Okay, bye.